Here we go, this is Power Director Android App 51 snapping overlay to boundary of preview. What this actually means, if you look at the Play Store, is that we've got um, version 5.4.3, which is adds snapping overlay object to the boundary of preview window. Bit of a mouthful, no other explanation that I can find. Um, so let me show you what we're talking about. I'm going to be using text picture in picture, and my demo here is going to be a 2 up and a 4 up, and I'll show you what I'm mean by that. Um, the text bit's really easy, you just tap on it and then what you find is as we move this around, if I can slowly snap to the bottom, there it is, snap to the left, very easy, and snap to the bottom left, done. All right, a bit uh, more useful is the idea that the picture-in-picture -picture is a huge feature for the app for me personally, very fiddly to line up everything, and therefore I've not been using it. The final bullet point there is, by adding this snapping feature, even using it over a few hours, makes it hugely important, so, and easy and nice. And I'll show you what I mean by that, because if we start um, on, and I'll come back to those, those other bits, um, because we've got to set the scene in terms of um, show you how it works if you need it. So here we are with just a blue um, canvas, and then I'm going to add a video and this video I'm going to add is the, the example one which is um, oh, no, sorry not like that it's a Friday people uh, you know well for me anyway uh, and that is that if I add the layer of course I must add a layer of video same thing with one of the things I've recorded earlier and then I hit it and it actually aligns. Now what you find that when it does actually align is that it comes in I would say pretty much a quarter size. In other words if I go snap, snap, you can see it's quarter size and the reason I say it is quarter size because watch this if you come into um, another layer to video, open camera and this time it's just going to be um, some cormorants if you like and that pops down and you go back, what you'll find is that layer sits, tap it there if you want to and bring it down, what you'll notice is it's a quarter size. So in other words, I could get four up, but I can't get four up because PowerDirector will not allow that. It only allows two items on the original track and the original track can be cropped in, but you can't crop it out. I'll show you what I mean. So so what I did, and if you, if you come back, if you like, and, and play it, we've got a blue slide, and then video one comes in top left snapped, top uh, bottom right snapped, done. So what I've actually got, and I'll show you what I mean, is I did this. So let's say you wanted four up, or even more than two, then I can go along and I can make one earlier, and this is something I've rendered in PowerDirector, and this is... Um, something he says let's play it shall we and you can see that there is a couple of bird feeders one top left one bottom right and they are exactly because of the snapping top left and bottom right so how can that work in practice in practice what we need to do is go over to power director again and the bit i said i would show you earlier having established that he says it always happens actually sometimes is that you, you minimize the app and then it takes a bit of time, so what? So notice this, is that when we come in, the track we made earlier, which is actually the rendered video file, is top left and bottom right, and then we're going to add, or I've added in earlier, one there which is bottom left, and another one, slightly different edit, which is this one at top right. And what actually happens is when you play the lot together, is that you'll find that you come in and you say, look, there's my original video track made with this snapping feature, and then I come in and I've actually got a perfectly aligned four videos. And they just, just carry on like that. Um, so that's pretty much it, isn't it? I was messing around here, if you want to know, with um, verticals, uh, which is this one, a vertical video or portrait, and also a landscape together. But I think generally when we're moving these things around to snap them in, it works fine. However, if you want to um, resize these windows, then what happens is that you're trying to resize them. Let's say I wanted this window exact or this video rather exactly uh, middle. You have to sorry snapped to say top right, but also to align exactly down here. What happens is if you snap it to top right 
and then drag it, it goes off screen because everything is around the central central point. So I guess what would happen is that you'd have to sort of move it around kind of in the middle and you get a bit of snapping to the right and then move it into a rough idea of snap top right. And you see that's too big, but if I resize it, it looks okay, but it actually snaps. Anyway, it sizes about the center. Actually, I wonder what happens if you do this, if you, whether that snaps anywhere. It actually does snap. Look, it's snapping to the top corner. Move it to the right. I can feel snap. That's interesting. Okay, look, that's that's it. I, I can mess around um, with it more, but I'm not going to because all I'm going to say is that was Android um, 51 snapping feature if you want to use it and get familiar with it. So, huge win. Well done. I've messed up my app. Goodbye.